Well, let me take this opportunity to welcome you once again to Penn State Greater Allegheny and also let you know how excited I am that you're interested in learning more about our honors program. I'm Dr. Megan Noggle. I'm a chemistry faculty here on campus and I'm also the current honors coordinator for our campus. In this short video, I just want to go over um, some of the highlights of the honors program and also what to do next if you intend to join the honors program for, for the fall or also what to do if you just have some questions. So in terms of the benefits to you for being part of the honors program, you're going to get early class registration. Now as an incoming fresh, freshman, that might not mean a whole lot, but when you go to schedule for the spring classes of your freshman year, you will be first in line to get classes. So you get early registration, very commonly, honors classes are small in size, so you get more attention from the faculty member and also get to know the other students in the class. Being in the honors program presents a variety of research opportunities where you get to, again, work one-on-one -on -one with a faculty member. You can gain experience in oral and written presentations. Every fall and spring, we have a research um, presentation where you can see a picture of it of students presenting here where you get to present a poster of the work that you're doing in your honors classes. And we also sponsor a number of honors events on campus. These could be speakers or trips into downtown Pittsburgh or special meals that will provide game nights, quiz nights. So there's a number of ways that we can just get to know each other um, and also sort of enrich you academically as you have your time at Penn State Greater Allegheny. So in terms of the requirements to remain in the honors program once you decide to start, you need to complete at, le at least six honors credits per academic year. What this normally means is that you take three credits in the fall and three credits in the spring. Sometimes students will do six credits in one semester and that's fine too. That's definitely not normal for an incoming freshman. Um, you, would main, you need to maintain a cumulative GPA of 3.33 or higher. If you fall below that, you just simply go on probationary status so you get your grades back up. You have to earn a grade of B or better in any honors credits that you're earning. So you can't take an honors course and then get a C in it because then you won't get, you can get credit for the course but not for the honors portion. And you're also required to attend a little bit of supplemental programming on campus. This is often um, speakers or special programs that we have uh, come during non-class time. If you'd like some more details, there's our website that you find at the GA website and you can just search for honors. All right, so let's say you have your invitation to the honors program and you think, yes, I'm definitely doing that. Well, first of all, let me say welcome to the honors program. And really the main thing you have to worry about doing is to make sure you have an honors course on your fall schedule. Now, this can take a variety of formats. You can get that honors course by enrolling in a course that's labeled as honors. Now this fall, given the circumstances, I don't think we have any honors specific classes. Um, so it's more likely that what you're going to have on your fall schedule is what's called an honors option. This is where you enroll in a normal class but you work with the professor to provide an honors portion to the class. And so you get to work with your faculty member one-on-one -on -one to come up with a project to meet the honors criteria. When you go to schedule, please ask your advisor to show you a list of classes in which you can earn these honors options. Finally, you can get honors credits by engaging in an independent study. This is normally something you do later in your college career, and so it's not something that as an incoming freshman, you need to be particularly worried about. Now the next thing you wanna do after you get a course on your schedule for honors will be to be on the lookout for an invitation from me to an honors gathering that we'll have during the first week of classes. So we'll not only have incoming freshman honor students, but we'll gather all of the honor students from across the campus um, to all get to know each other a little bit better. Now let's say you have an honors invitation, but you're not quite sure if you're ready to join. That's okay, you have several options. You can always request more information that might help you make a, deci uh, make a decision. You can also defer for the freshman year. Now, I generally don't recommend this, and if you would like to talk to a student who has been through the honors program, I can get you in contact with a GA student who's been through it. They'll probably let you know that it, it really wasn't that bad um, in terms of workload in order to get this um, special honors designation. 
However, if you do choose uh, to not join this fall, but you continue to meet the criteria for the honors program after your first year, you will again receive an invitation and you can join the program the following year. All right, so if you still have questions whether you choose to join for this fall or not, please do not ever hesitate to reach out to me at mnoggle at psu.edu. I will be able to answer your questions um, in a timely manner. And if there's something you think that you could just find from the website, I've again included the link to the honors program website for our campus. All right, well, I hope to see you in the fall and I look forward to getting to know you as part of the Penn State Greater Allegheny Honors Program. Have a great day.